2024 already halfway done can't y'all believe it Fuck. man <laughs> halfway done through 2024 it's hard to believe already that half of the year is already gone <laughs> uh with that being said though i like to do these uh halfway through the year videos where i do some of the best tv shows so far some of the best movies so far so i'm going to be listing off what are the best tv shows so far for the first half of 2024 So it's been quite an interesting year, at least for the first half of the year for series and shows all around for 2024. So it's been very interesting and there's a lot been a lot of good shows, a lot of other eh shows going on. But as far as this uh, list is concerned, these are basically the shows that I enjoyed so far this uh, first half of the year. And these are, in my opinion, the best shows of the first half of the year of 2024. So I'm going to list off my top five favorites top five best whatever you want to call them and let's go ahead and get into this i did want to start off with an honorable mention though at least and that is going to be the ted series that streams on peacock the cock <laughs> but with this series i really do feel like it's a live action version of family guy and i love family guy family family guy's hilarious and i really do feel like this is a live action version of family guy in general and that's not too far to say off because, of course, the creator of the TED series is Seth MacFarlane himself. So it's not too far to say off that it is definitely has Family Guy elements, Family Guy vibes, as it could definitely feel like a fi Family Guy live action series. And really with this series, it is hilarious. It's funny. Definitely has everything from the TED movies included, but it acts as a sort of prequel to the movies themselves. And we get a younger John Bennett going on. We get his adventures with Ted. Basically, John is in high school. And we just get the shenanigans, get the chaos and all the all the things going on. Craziness of him and Ted just going to high school, living out their teenage years. But on the other hand, we also get the family dynamic between, uh, you know, John's family where he has his parents and he has his cousin that all live together in the same house so you get a lot of family dynamic and chaos and craziness going on there too uh honestly this was just an overall funny and hilarious season uh this first season all the episodes were funny i laughed my ass off at every part of the episodes and throughout all the episodes i'm really hoping this gets a season two but i definitely have to throw it in there as an honorable mention at least so with this top five, it's not going to necessarily be in any particular order. This is just in general, the top five uh, best, my favorite shows of the first half of 2024. Starting off with this list, we're going to go with the Percy Jackson series that was on Disney+. Plus. And I know that this one started, technically started in 2023, but it was on, definitely at the last or second to last week of December of 2023. So most, most of its season was in 2024. So I decided to go ahead and include it. And what this series was, I definitely was a fan of the books. Uh, I read the books as a in middle school, back in middle school when they first were around. Yes, that's how old I am that I remember when the, the books were like, first arrived to this like came out and i was in middle school when they came out so i remember reading them back in middle school just going on a whim how they looked in the library and sitting on a table being featured as some of the books of the month whatever thing they had going on and just decided on a whim just go ahead and read them because they looked interesting and i just fell in love with the book series overall and we got the movies of course uh not too long after the books came out <laughs> whoa and I don't even know if we should talk about the movies. Uh, the movies, uh, movies, the movies are movies. <laughs> but I was definitely excited for this new series when they announced it. And very interested in seeing what they're going to be able to do with this whole new series. Considering that was a series that they're going to maybe be able to adapt it better towards the books. And adapt the books a little bit better. Since it's going to be a series, they could be able to flesh things out. Add more stuff that the movies weren't able to do. And I got to say, after watching this first season, I'm definitely satisfied on what they were able to do with this new series. They did a lot of great things with this series, adapting the books and a lot of things. And of course, they couldn't keep everything from the book straight forward and you know, beat for beat. But they're able to make changes and adjust things to make the season overall good. Really good. I really enjoyed this season, especially when it comes to some of the episodes, the way they would end some of the episodes where they left off on like hooks or cliffhangers or things like that. It just made me want to watch that next episode right away. And but we had to wait a whole week and all that stuff. So they really built up the tension with that and they're able to do a great job with adapting the books, being able to do this series and add everything and 
be able to change some things and adjust for creativeness and be able to just give us overall a great series. So I really did enjoy this season. It's already been confirmed for season two, so I'm excited for that. Can't wait for season two to check that out. Getting into another series that I really did enjoy, and I was definitely looking forward to with this one. This was actually one of my most anticipated series of the year, and that is Shogun. Shogun is a definitely an amazing series. Uh, amazing series that uh, is a time period. It's basically take it's a time period piece. Uh, that's taking place in Japan and just the way they were able to tell this story this dramatic story and It was very interesting. It's very interesting what they were able to do with this and it was like it was Captivating uh, the way the series was it, the way they had the different themes and elements of things going on with the series It was very interesting uh, just the whole story and the characters that you got invested with that you were able to uh, You know what the way their stories panned out you're able to feel for them and a lot of great action going on here, a lot of great dramatic things going on here, and just overall a great story going on with this series of Shogun. I really did enjoy it. I really did enjoy it. And it's been already confirmed that they're going to get another season, or I believe another th and a third season also. Uh, so it's going to be very interesting to see where they take these characters or take this story or what they're going to do to continue on. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see what they do in the future for that. But as far as this first season, I really did enjoy it definitely was on my list when coming up with this list this was definitely on there as soon as i start this list that it's going to be definitely on one of the top shows of the year and we get into probably one of my favorite ones that's going to be for the from this year and that's going to be x-men 97 the way that i said before in the previous videos that i grew up on the original x-men animated series back in the 90s that was one of the first ever marvel things i ever saw on screen and I just fell in love with the characters, fell in love with the X-Men team. And for them to be able to revive and have a continuation of that series, come back with X-Men 97, they knocked it out the park with this series. It's honestly it was so amazing, awesome. It was so good. It was just great overall storytelling going on with these episodes and with this season. Uh, I enjoyed the season so much. I really did love it. And I was able to get back to that sense of, how the original animate series was and be able to get back to some of those characters revisit some of those characters and see some new characters and be able to just have this team of the x-men because when it comes down to my favorite teams for like comic books and like just in general my favorite teams x-men is definitely my favorite it's probably my most favorite team when it comes to like superhero teams and things like that um so i was definitely excited for this new season or this new series of x-men 97 and they did such an amazing, phenomenal job with this season. All the episodes were good to at least great and exceptional. I enjoyed this first season of X-Men 97. Cannot wait for the next season, season two. And it's already been confirmed that they're going to be working on season three already too. So I'm definitely excited for the future of X-Men 97. Getting into another animated series and that is going to be Invincible. Now with this one, this one's a little, little different where the first part, this one was actually split into two parts. So season two was split into two parts, which I still feel like they could have done something there to adjust it. But we got the first part back in last year of November, I think it was. And we had to wait about another four to five months to till we got part two. It was definitely a long wait till we got part two. But I decided to go ahead and just include it because it is technically in this year also that part two came out of the season two. So I decided to go ahead and include it in there. And this one is awesome too what they did with the first season of invincible they did an amazing job with that great animation great action going on uh so i really did enjoy that first season and i was looking forward to the second season and with the second season they did an amazing job also like it's still good i'll say one of the main problems with this season though was that the whole split up between part one and part two to where they have part one going and then we had to wait another four to five months dragged it all out to get part two four to five months later and to me i think that just lost momentum for the series overall there was hardly no buzz about this series going on like there was hardly anybody talking about this series and i think having them i think them with them having that break in between that long that long wait in between the two parts really did it really did mess them up honestly like it broke the momentum of the series and it just messed them up in a way so hopefully they're able to fix that in the future other than that, when it comes to the series overall as a whole or this season as a whole, 
they did still did a pretty good job as good as the first season i still enjoyed this season i still enjoyed a lot of things they're able to do still great animation going on a lot of great action going on you're still invested in some of these characters so a lot of great things going on just that main one problem that i was saying that was probably the one thing that broke them and we get into the last show on this list and that is going to be season four of the boys now the boys is one of those series that i've been enjoying over the past few couple of years what well, probably one of my most favorite series that's been going on over the past recent years and with this season it definitely is a very great season i enjoyed this past season of season four they did a lot of great things going on still some great action going on still a great story going on <laughs> this season definitely got some got pretty wild it probably got the most crazy and most wild this past season definitely was for the show um <laughs> That's very interesting. <laughs> very interesting on the direction they were able to take this season and the things they're able to do. But nonetheless, uh, I do hear a lot of people saying how this might be the weakest, and I could kind of see how people are say that. You know, I could kind of see it. But to me, honestly, I still enjoyed this season. I still enjoyed it. It definitely, um, it definitely. I'd probably say it wasn't like the highest of highs for the boys over the past couple seasons. But it's definitely still a pretty great season. They did a lot of great things going on this season. And with the next season, season 5 being the last season, uh, it's going to be very interesting. I really did feel like this season was kind of an almost setup season. Not directly a setup season, but like indirectly kind of set things up to get to season 5, of course. To where, how they're going to end it. You know, how they're going to end it. And... At the time of this recording, I have not seen the final episode yet, or at least the final episode has not streamed yet. So, time will tell what the final episode, what they do within the final episode, how that all comes to an end, or how it sets up the next season. So, we'll see what happens with that. But as far as this season is concerned, with the, at least the first seven episodes of the season four of The Boys, still phenomenal, still pretty great. I enjoyed this season still, and they're still doing pretty well with this season. Can't wait for season five at least. But that's going to do it for my list of the top five series so far in this first half of 2024. Definitely let me know down in the comments below. What are some of your favorites or what are some of the best that you believe are, you know, in this year of 2024? But that'll do it all for this video. Hopefully y'all all enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe and turn notifications on so you know I post another video. Hope you all have an awesome day and I'll see you on the next one.